you're all keeping well in these uncertain times. So, what have we got here? God knows. I know. It's a laser assembly from a laser drive. Now, this is the question. Is it a laser assembly from the dual type DVD and laser combo machines or is it a laser assembly from a more modern laser disc drive? I don't know is the question, is the answer, I should say. And also the question. The reason why I don't know is that this one says B on it on the barcode, as you might notice, and this one says A. Okay? Now I know this one's from a laser drive, and I know this one's working. This one here, I bought three off the same guy. Now, I need to open up a machine I have, a CLD2950, because I'm curious to know, does it have a B laser in it? If it does, then that means that he sold me 240 lasers, the one that was working. That cost me a small fortune, which I had never recouped. And I'm now going to think about that for a minute and say, how much money have I sank in the laser discs? Hmm. None recently. That's the good news. So, <laughs> the bottom one is a laser assembly from a single sided player. Now, we know this because on the side of it here, we have the single sided guide rail piece, which if I let the zoom out, you can see it. And I also know it's from a single sided player because that's where I took it from. Um, now this one hasn't been fiddled with, as you can see the green goo is still there. So if you do go and fiddle with that, you're supposed to put the green goo back to stop this from moving. But as I said already, don't do that. So this is an M holder here, it's still in place, it's still working, so that one's actually okay. So we put that to one side. So why is this one important? Okay, so basically I bought one of these from this particular fella, and it arrived, and it didn't read any laser discs. So I was kind of a bit put out by that. So I tried it on two or three different machines. I set it to him, I tried it in a CLD315, a 310, and a 2950, and it didn't work on any of them. And I said to him, so can you verify I came out of a CLD2950? He didn't reply to that. Eventually I had to arm wrestle him, is the best way to describe it, and I got a refund of half the money back. So I ended up paying 50 euro for a non-working laser assembly with a good, uh, more modern black M holder. So that was fine. I figured, look, 50 quid for that, that's fair enough. So then I said, have you, have you got any more laser assemblies? He says, yes, I have. I'll list another one on eBay. So with that, I went ahead and I bought another one off him at 100 euro, plus the shipping, which is another 30 quid, or I think it was 30 quid, so 130 quid. He then shipped that to me, um, which, you know, packaging was fine, nothing like that. Everything was tickety-boo. I put that into all the machines, and it didn't work. Now, what was kind of frustrating about it, frustrating about it was, I wouldn't have minded buying the two off them, and they were both working. Because I did buy one off them previous to that, which I used in my CLD2950, and it worked flawlessly. So we had a track record of selling stuff that actually worked. The second one didn't work. I contacted them about it, I says, where did you get this? Was it working in the drive? Nothing. Total blank, total whatever. So this went on for a while, where he just totally blanked me, never replied back to the emails, and to be honest with you, I just gave up and just that was it. I walked away from the walked away from it altogether. So curiosity kills the cat. So I did this so you don't have to. So what I did was I started to fiddle with this pot on both laser assemblies, which was complete stupidity. Looking back because chances are this is for reading DVDs and not for reading uh, laser discs. So uh, yeah, it was a bit of a stupid thing to do. Anyway, not to mind. I did it, it happened. But I did actually manage to get this laser assembly to read a laser disc. Don't worry, you can't say, oh, you know, should give me... No, no, no. It reads a CAV disc, kind of. And um, I got to read it sort of after the start, sort of rolled on a bit. In the middle, it read it. I would never read a CLV, a CLV disc, the, the, the extended plate discs, as it were. Never read, read them. Obviously because the laser was just about right to read the... Um, Bigger tracks maybe on the other disc, not too sure, um, but it could never read the other type of disc. So it would read CAVs to some degree where you get a picture, you would get sound, but a bit of garbage at the beginning and a bit garble at the end. So that's what led me to suspect um, over the past year, just, you know, as I try to think of maybe other things to do in the middle of, you know, everything else I had to do as if it were, you know, what can I do with these laser assemblies? I figured, well, maybe the two of them are for the DVD uh, assembly of the more modern 909 or 919. I don't know. I've no way of really verifying that without actually getting one of those machines, perhaps, and seeing what's in them. But I suspect because it says B on it, that is exactly what that's for. But I don't know. So, on this one here, this is the, uh, you know, the original 
type of M holder that came with these and it's as brittle as you know dark chocolate so they don't really last very long they tend to break and shatter what happens in transit is bits and bobs shear off them and uh, this piece here doesn't last okay so in this particular uh, picture we have the broken M holder right here as illustrated by the shiny bar and um, so what happens typically to most of them um, is the actual spindles that hold the two cogs shear off so they shear off from from the two points I'll just use this little bar here again because I got big thick fingers here you know so they shear off as you can see here and you can see you can see down the bottom here it's sheared off on the other one okay so there and there two little pieces have sheared off there's the other piece of plastic, there's the other cog. So this is typically what, what happens. Now that's not always what happens. Sometimes it can be a little bit more dramatic. Ah yes, a bucket of broken lasers. Now, as I was saying there a moment ago, um, the drive, I bought the laser assembly off that guy, the first one I ever bought off him, and actually this was the laser assembly that was in that one, and it wasn't reading properly. Now this one reads kind of, um, I've marked it actually with a little, little, little blue mark. Look, so it reads kind of. So we'll read a disc. Um, but what we're going to do over the period is we're actually going to basically reassemble all these. See which ones will read discs on the single side of the drive. See which ones won't read discs, and the ones that won't read discs are getting the old heave ho. So what's interesting about this laser assembly? Again, it's an A as you can see. Okay, is it has the dual sided assembly on the side of it. So this is the side. Of, this is designed for the machines that basically have the two sided facility or faculty. Okay, this one here is disassembled altogether. It's taped up, so there's a good chance that this one actually is working as well. And as you can see, there's more M holders kind of hanging on for dear life. So what we do is we just pour out the M holders. I'm not the junk there. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Look at that. Not lovely, isn't it? That gorgeous. It's like looking at carnage. Okay, so I'm gonna put that M holder back in there. With all those little bits there. Look at that. Uh, it's own little personal jar of rubbish. Now, okay, so again, more M holders, more disasters. This one here has had the motor shear off it and left the cogs behind. Lovely jubbly. This one here has had the cog break in there and that's not too bad again either. I've actually super glued in here the little pin and I actually have one of the machines inside that's actually running um, what they call the daily driver you know the old daily driver yes so the daily driver um, I actually glued in I'm afraid dropping the forward you know, you know, you know Johnny Brook you know so I, dropped, I, I glued in here and they all, they all probe you know <laughs> old chappy <laughs> that's in English now okay so what happened is I actually put the peg back on here glued it on and it's still inside running, and I don't know how. Kind of a miracle that is. Uh, the super glue shouldn't really do that, but it did, and it works. Um, super glue doesn't really like that plastic, but um, I've gotten away with it a few times. I think it's got this kind of compact. Um, but like another one I had, it sheared apart into little bits. I reassembled it with super glue, pegs and all, and it's still reading. So I don't know how. It's kind of a miracle. So I'm gonna put that little bundle of junk. You see those little, look, see all the little screws, all the little screws off and all that, you see? So we just, uh, and here's one that's definitely broken. This was off, this is the one off the dual side of the machine. God, I'm an awful liar. So it says D-O-N, dead and arrival. So this one is actually from the the, the uh, dual side of the drive uh, that basically I replaced from, your, basically this guy in France, he said, look, I want to buy one off you. I said, he said, yep, yeah, no problem. 150 quid later, boom, new laser assembly, bang, works straight away. I just literally plugged it in and it's still running on the device. And I think that's on the 2950 machine I have inside. Now what I want to do is I want to take that out of there and verify what laser assembly is in that. Because I'm curious as if it says A or B here. Because I noticed that all the ones are definitely, I know I took these all out of, of uh, single sided or dual sided laser drives. Um, and I know that they all came from specifically laser drives because I've never actually had looked or serviced a 909 or 919 because I went from laser disc to DVD and never looked back and um, so you know I don't know I'd have actually I love laser disc but that's neither here nor there big shiny disc who doesn't like that ah you can't beat it ah yes another bag of carnage oh ho, ho, look at this it gets better, and I have no idea what is a Euro coin in there. I actually don't know why that's in there. 
Um, I looked at this bag there yesterday. I said to myself, said, "What the heck? And why is there a euro coin on there? There's bits of broken plastic. It's carnage." This particular, what's that? Oh yeah, I know this is off now. This is off the infamous 515. I bet you. There's a jewel side of little clip there. Look, we're gonna put that into our into our jar here. Yes, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Put the cogs in there as well. Go on. Um, might as well. There's another M hole. Look, that's uh, shot itself. Is the best way to describe that. But look, see, that's absolutely. Actually, no, the pegs aren't on that. Look, one peg is on, the other peg is gone. Lovely. And there's the motor. Yeah. Lovely. Quality stuff. That's what happens is the... I'll just get out one here. I don't have it in the box. So what happens is in transit... It should be that way up. It's an A again, look. So that laser assembly is probably working fine. Problem is, it's impossible basically to re-solder or solder these uh, connections back on here. I tried it with one drive and I've shown that in previous videos. But basically what happens in transit, this is bouncing along, this kind of you know breaks the M hole because it's getting brittle over time, but then goes off to the side, it's then dangling on that bit of uh, you know film there that holds it on, and then suddenly it drops off, it's rolling around inside the case, and now the laser assembly is absolutely worthless. You've not only lost the laser assembly, but you've lost the M holder as well, or should I say You've also lost the M holder, which is bad enough in itself. You've also lost the assembly because once this motor shears off, it's good night, Vienna. And yet more carnage. Oh, Marty! So we got what? Another bit of broken M holder. Lovely. Eh, that M holder isn't too bad actually. That one actually is probably salvageable. Look. You see, in this one here, you could possibly, if you could find where the bed the peg ended up, you could possibly glue it back on there, because yeah, once it's on there, this one here is still in good nick. It's still kind of holding on. Hmm, that one actually might be salvageable. Well, hey, so that could be the peg off of there. Look, you never know. You never, never know. But if you could get that on there and glue it on there, little the big cog is going to hold the small cog on because the pressure of the motor on top is going to actually you know hold it in place so that might be fixable I probably wouldn't put on a dual side of the machine but on a single side of the machine yeah fine dual side of it might come shearing off and you know become shrapnel inside of the machine more uh, carnage of the M hole this is what happens to them look they just disintegrate look absolutely disintegrate uh, another one mm -hmm. I don't know why I threw it in there but might as well and then this is an example then of where the motor and um, where's that assembly I had a moment ago? Where did I put it? In here. Hold on. This might actually belong, be belongs to this. I, it's no use, this is a bin job. But I kept it just to basically show people. Um, so this could actually be belongs to this. Let's have a look. Let me see, there's the motor. There is a belongs to it. Could very well be, yeah. So, ew. So what happens is, it's uh, merrily going along its way there. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty bad, isn't it? So that's where that should sit, okay? Like that. So it's sitting there, as you see, it's all sheared off. Look, and then it breaks where it broke. That's then basically hanging on by a thread like that. There's nothing else to hold it on there apart from that M holder, and then eventually it shears off there through you know, basically fatigue, and then you've got basically nothing. It's it's all gone. It's good night Vienna again. So these are various cogs and bits and bobs from other drives and you know a random light bulb. Hmm. Bing. Be funny if I had to turn on there, wouldn't it? Okay. So where is this all heading? That's what you're trying to worry. Well, if you've managed to hang on this far, we're now going to show you the main event. More carnage. Oh. And now the main event. Something arrived to me in the post. Slipped through the letterbox by a witty ghost. Laser parts. I bought these. This is an M holder. A 3D printed M holder. That was about them chestnuts. So I've actually opened these boxes up just in case you're wondering. The cogs do not come with the uh, M holders. So I haven't tried these out yet either. So I'll be curious to see how they operate. But as you can see. Um, seems to be moving there nice and smooth. I put actually two cogs in the last end. They're a bit, uh, well, as the saying goes, as rough as a badger's arse. So these ones seem to be a little bit better. 
Um, so I'm going to use those cogs in that one. And I put cogs into this one as well. So uh, if I can just get the box open now, it'll be lovely. So these are a little bit cleaner. So there again. I don't, you can't hear that, which I could hear a real grinding noise with two of them. They were, they were, in, in, they were actually like somebody chew them up, you know. But uh, yeah, this assembly seems to be pretty sturdy. I quite like it. So uh, we're going to put that onto... Basically what we're going to do is, in the next couple of videos, we're going to basically whip out... Um, the single side laser drive that I have, one of them that I know is working and um, probably a PAL machine that I have uh, we're going to basically test all the laser assemblies that are in decent enough shape and we're going to try, the, we're going to try basically the ones that are you know, I think this one here is working um, and that one there is DOA, it's definitely broken so we can forget about that one that blue one there might be working as well so if we can get uh, these two and test them with these new M holders and it starts playing discs. We've then salvaged 200 euro, at least 100 euro, laser assemblies from the scrap heap. Now that would be a flipping achievement. That's what I think. 